I'm here with Emily Cohen Ibanez. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you. This is awesome. I, I love doing this. And we were just talking about how we don't really know each other. We've never met each other, but Firelight makes it feel like we know each other. I know about your project, you, you know about mine. So it's great to put a face to a name. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we we're talking about being a part of the Firelight family and just how amazing we're like brothers and sisters who don't necessarily know each other in person yet, but we know each other in all these other really profound ways. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So tell me how you sort of joined the Firelight family. When was it? With what project? Yeah, so it's been amazing. Uh, I uh, got to be a part of the Firelight Documentary Lab um, starting uh, 2019 to 2021. So I'm still currently a fellow, which has been an amazing experience with a beautiful cohort. And you're there with Fruits of Labor, right? Your film. Yes, I'm with Fruits of Labor, which has been huge for me to have the support of Firelight to really navigate, you know, my first film, completing it, getting it out there. It's, it's been just um, invaluable. There is nobody better than the Firelight community to lift up your first film. Will you tell me about what Fruits of Labor is about? Yeah, Fruits of Labor is about Ashley a Mexican-American farm-working teenager um, who dreams of graduating high school uh, when ice raids in her community um, basically threatened to separate her family and force her to become her family's breadwinner. And it's a, it's a documentary feature that incorporates different kind of elements. Um, so it's verite with sort of more stylized, um, treatment or dreams that represent Ashley's inter internal self. Um, and it's really, you know, a lyrical film about adolescence, uh, about nature and the ancestors. And you're giving us a little sneak peek into the artistry of the film with your background. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I have the privilege of working with Maribel Martinez, who is an incredible animator in Mexico City. And this is some of her artwork um, that is going to be incorporated both in the film as well as um, the film's poster that we're currently designing. Oh, it's so stunning. Okay, tell me what next steps are for the film. Is the rollout hopefully happening this year? Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping for a really strong festival run and followed, you know, by hopefully distribution and social impact, but right now really just focusing on that festival run. Well, this year is all about resilience, as you know, um, and so I'm wishing you a whole lot of resilience for the coming year as you roll out the film, but what's one thing you wish for yourself? What's your own category for 2021? I say the word that really uh, captures it would be grace. Grace, to give myself and others grace in this period. I love it. Okay, final question. Um, you know, what's one thing you'll miss? For, have you actually, let me ask, have you ever actually ever been to Sundance before or no? I have. Um, so I'm also a member of the Brown Girls Doc Mafia. Huge shout out. And so I've um, gone to Sundance twice with BGDM and actually was a part of organizing the BGDM um, at Sundance last year. So it's, you know, been such an amazing experience. Um, and Sundance, as you know, is just this crazy festival with just all these people and incredible opportunities to meet people um, and, yeah, I don't think I could have done it without the support of that sisterhood. Yes, and they are our partners in putting this whole program on. So shout out to BGVM and Iabo. Um, what's, it seems like the one thing you'll miss from if this was actually at Sundance is the community. What's one thing you're happy to miss from Sundance now that we're virtual? I'll be honest, I don't do super well with the high altitudes. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't love cold weather. I'm not a skier. Um, and so for me, I've always had a fantasy that Sundance would move to the tropics somewhere. Listen, we need to wrap Robert Redford. I know he's gone, but you know. <laughs> I think so. I want to be on the beach. 
and sipping on cocktail. One of the fire lights next festival. Um, well, thank you so much for joining us, Emily. I'm so excited to actually see Fruits of Labor. It looks beautiful from just the background itself. Um, and I wish you the best this year on its rollout. I'm sure it'll be incredible. Thank you so much, Jean-Pierre. Such a pleasure.